Federal judges are reviewing Alabama's newly drawn congressional maps. The map had to be redrawn after the Supreme Court ruled in June that it violated the Voting Rights Act. At issue is Alabama's one black majority district. Skyler Henry is following the latest from Washington and joins us now. Skyler, first, let's start out with the new map. What does it look like? Hey, Jim, good to see you. Well, this new map, as constructed by the GOP-controlled members uh, in the state of Alabama, still have that one black majority, uh, but they have looked into the second majority, uh, or second district map uh, in the state right now. Remember, Alabama has seven districts, uh, seven voting districts so far. They've paid attention to the second congressional district, and they've looked to try to increase the number of eligible black voters in that district from 30 percent to somewhere close to 40 percent. And as you mentioned, this all is coming from the Supreme Court decision in June, ultimately calling on the state to redraw its congressional district map, saying that the previous map before violated the Voting Rights Act, Section 2, ultimately saying that it does not give black voters an opportunity or it gives them less of an opportunity uh, than other voters in the state to elect a candidate of their choice. And so this is the back and forth that we have currently been seeing. I talked about the efforts that Republicans have made in the second congressional district. Well, Democrats have argued that this current map simply does not go far enough, and they say that it actually still discriminates against black voters. Now, earlier, a three-judge panel, in fact, the panel that's overseeing this case, has ultimately called for a second black congressional district or, quote, something quite close to it. Now, the Solicitor General was asked about all of that earlier today, coming out to say that the legislature's job was to approve a new map that followed redistricting principles and then also what was proposed uh, in that previous map. And so what you have here are judges that are expressing their concerns, saying that there is potentially a deliberate disregard by the state legislature in terms of doing what they asked for, and to that point, what the Supreme Court asked for as well. Well, and so now we'll see ultimately how they will rule in the weeks and months ahead. So I, I guess the big question is in terms of impact for the 2024 election, its potential implications on the balance of mm -hmm. power in the House. Big, big, big questions. What do you expect to, to see here? Yeah, uh, real quickly on the timeline here, the judge has not really put out any sort of timeline as to when they will rule. They have given both sides up until Saturday to submit any sort of additional information that they might feel is relevant to this case. But you talked about what this means in terms of the 2024 presidential race. If Democrats were to be able to somehow get that second congressional district, that second black majority district, then that could have uh, incredible implications in terms of the balance of power in the House. Remember, Republicans still have a very slim majority in terms of the amount of representatives that are in uh, Congress right now, with 222. One seat uh, for Democrats certainly impacts that balance of power, as you see right there, 222 for Republicans, 213 for Democrats. And so that could certainly be interesting in and of itself. Now, how these judges decide, that remains to be seen. But both sides have indicated that they plan on appealing and sending this back to the Supreme Court if they disagree with the panel's ruling. If that is the case, then Republicans hope that they can flip uh, Justice Brett Kavanaugh, one of the conservative justices that sided with the liberal minority uh, in this uh, June ruling. So this still very much has a ways to go in terms of 2024 implications. A lot of the Democrats that we spoke with down in Alabama say that they will continue fighting to try to make sure that they develop this second black majority district, because as of now, there is only one Democrat in the state. There's only one black representative in congressional leadership in Alabama. So they say that they will continue this fight until it is all drawn out how they want. And a high-stakes fight it is. Skylar Henry in Washington, thank you so much.